welcome. Jack Long here from LearnGuitarTunes.com. Thank you so much for tuning in to another lesson here today. So, if you hadn't already guessed it, it's the Beatles with a little help from my friends off the Sgt. Pepper album. And it's a fantastic song. It's one of my favourites actually on that album, I'd say. It's a really nice sing along, quite difficult kind of chords, but I want you to stick with it, try your best, and just give it a go, because the chords are actually really crucial to learn and the sequence of chords as well it's got a great sequence of chords really good strumming pattern as well which you'll learn in this lesson so i'm going to run through with you the verse the well there's like a little intro that kind of bit so the little intro easy verse chorus and then a bridge so it's really cool it's got everything you need and bar chords and really cool strumming now how this song came about to me teaching it is I sent out a survey to all of my kind of fans and subscribers and I said, hey, just choose your favourite Sgt Pepper's song. Your favourite song on the album, Sgt Pepper. So, 100 over, it was 257, 67, anyway, 260, I think it's 267. 267 people all voted in the course of a week and the winning song was this song. Hence why I'm teaching it. So, if you want to get involved in all that kind of stuff, because I send out to my kind of fans and subscribers, I send out emails about all kinds of things like a new lesson, or a competition, or a new launching of a product, or um, another free course, guitar course, or ebooks, and all that kind of stuff, as well as voting for your song to be recorded as a lesson. And yeah, get involved. We'd love to see you get involved. So just click on the link below in the description of this video, um, fill in your details. And by doing that, I'll also send you a couple of ebooks and some other free cool courses as well. So, anyway, we're going to zoom in. I'm going to teach you up close and personal how to play this incredible song, starting with that kind of little intro and the verse. Zoom in. Okay, so a little help from my friends. We kickstart the song as a little intro y bit before we go into the actual verse on a C. Okay, so what we want to do is. Following on kind of from how the album sounds. So it's pretty easy. It starts with a C chord and it's just, it's just a couple of standard, you can, um, yeah, you can just do it down strum. So one, two, three, four. Then down to a D. One, two, three, four. And then an E. One, two, three, four. And then you pause. One, two, three, four. Four. You stay on your E, then it whips into the verse. The verse does kick start in this E, okay? And it's what would you think? And it goes into a bar chord. Right, so here are the chords in the verse. The first chord is an E. Would you think? Oh by the way, did you do you like my tab down the bottom? I've kind of got like a tab thing going on for you. Let me know if you like this, thumbs up and all the rest of it. So here we go. What would you think? B chord. If I sang out of tune. F sharp minor. Stay in the F sharp minor. Would you stand up and walk out on me? Okay. Did you so this verse bit is just three chords. It's an E, B, F sharp minor. And then you go backwards. F sharp minor, B, back to E. Okay, really quite simple, really. But of course, if you don't like bar chords too much, or you're struggling a little bit, then you're gonna find that a little bit difficult. So, if you notice with my E, I'm playing without my index finger, right? Meaning my pinky is kind of taken over. So instead of my index finger here, the other two fingers covering, okay, that G, what I do is I put my middle finger on that G. Pinky covers the D, the ring finger covers the A in that E, open E shape. Index finger's bare. The reason why I do that is then I can slowly, quickly get into my B. Now, how I get into my B, and this is how you play a B, just in case you've never done it before, you get into an A shape quickly. So there's like an A, right? Remember, we're not playing an A, just, just follow, follow with me and it'll come, come clear in a minute. So you go E, 
and then go into an A shape on the strings. I'm not actually pressing down. If you see that. I'm not pressing down on those three strings as you would do for an A. I then scoot the fingers up so they're already in position, already in place, in an A shape, to the fourth fret, all three fingers in that fourth fret area, just as you would do if it's an A chord, on the fourth fret, and then I bar the whole of the second fret, okay? But you only play from the A string down, because the A string is the B note, and you always play on the root note, the B note. You don't play on the A, you don't play the E. Wouldn't sound very nice if you got an F sharp in there. So, here we go, let's do that again. So, here we go, the B, okay? So you're barring the second fret, you're doing an A shape on the fourth fret, right? Do you see? Cool, so. D, two, three, four, and B. Stay barred, and then what you can do is just move your, um, your middle finger and your ring finger up to then cover back on the fourth fret still the E, the A, and the D, right? Like that, almost as if it's an A, almost as if it's an E minor, right? Do you see? It's almost like an E minor. So it's on the fourth fret, and you bar in the second. And this time you do play all six strings. That's an F sharp minor so this is the count right this is how we do it it's quite hard because it's a fast tempo it's a two by two it's one two b two f sharp minor two three and four and f sharp minor two b two e two three Start again. E two B two F sharp minor two and then one two and then one two again one two B two and E two three four right. So it always ends four counts at the end of kind of each loop before you go backwards again to the E. So so it's watch it's kind of like, like a little pattern. One, two, B, one, two, F sharp minor. One, two, three, four. That's the end of the first loop, three chords. Then we go backwards. One, two, that's the beginning. One, two, middle, and the end. One, two, three, four, E. Let's try and think of it like that. The only chord that never has any more than two beats is the B. What would you think? Sang out of tune Would you stand up and walk out on me? Two, three, four And let me your ears And I'll sing you a song And i try not to sing out of key Oh, I get a little help from my friends So, I'm hoping so far that bit's quite straightforward. Try and play with me right now, okay, in the bar chordy shapes. Um, and don't move on to the next bit until we've now this little exercise sequence. So let's just, just do a couple of down strums, okay, after me. I'm gonna shout out the chord after three, ready? From that E chord. One, two, three, and E two and B two F sharp minor two three four and again one two down to B one two and then E four two three E again four and E two and B two and F sharp minor two three four F sharp minor again down to B and E two one more time three. Try that, don't move on, keep rewinding it until you've nailed that sequence. So the next stage is the chorus, and then once you've done your bar chords, your thumb is killing, your fingers are like, ah, 
and it goes into some nice open chords and the chorus starts with a D. I get by with a little help from my friends. Oh, I get D chord and an A chord and an E. Ooh, I have a D chord and an A chord and an E and a B. I'm going to whip through the chorus because it's, to be fair, it's so easy. It's just D, A, E, E, D, A, E, E, and a D, A, E, E, and D, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. All right. So, hopefully, that's all pretty clear by now, right? You just go back to your um, verse again for, for your third verse, right? Then it goes on to another chorus, and then we've got the bridge. And the bridge is just beautiful because it's using some of my favorite chords, actually. So, the first chord in the bridge is a C sharp minor. Okay, and there's some really nice little things I'm going to teach you in a minute. So it goes, do you need? Why am I so high pitched? I'm just going to sing it in a monotone, horrible voice. Do you need anybody? Want somebody to love? Could it be anybody? Okay, how do we play the bridge? So, the C sharp minor is like this. It's like an A minor shape. And then just bar the whole of the fourth. Do you need anybody? So, the next chord is C sharp minor, then it's an F sharp major. So, we've already done an F sharp minor, where it's just the two fingers and the bar. Remember that one? But this time, that and that's kind of like your E minor with a bar. But this time, you're just going to do an E shape. E, but with a bar. Do you need anybody? And then what I do is, this sounds lovely, I lift my finger off there to bar, and then I slide it down to the E. Okay. It's lovely. So you're in that A shape at the end of that bridge. I want somebody to love. And you've got to get back up to the fourth, fifth, and sixth fret. And when, when you're doing that, you want to move your fingers along those strings because you're in the A shape. Again, move them along the strings. As you move them up, get into an A minor shape. So make sure you get this finger down onto the B fret, the B string, and bring the other two up into their little position. And then you go past the fourth fret, and then you need to get into that A minor shape quickly, and then bar your fourth. Do you need want somebody to love? Could it be anybody? Just need someone to love. Oh, get out of my friends. So, I hope that's quite straightforward, right? Need and the timing. On the bar chords it's four beats. One, two, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, and E two, D two, A two, three, four. Yeah, the outro, as I call it, and I think it is called an outro, is, is the same chords as the chorus. It's I get by D help from my friends, a little help A from my and instead of going into an E like you would do this time it's D, D to an A to an C D E not A, E C D 
ends nicely on an E. Okay, so last but not least, with um, a little help from my friends, is the strumming pattern that I've promised. So I'm just going to go over the strumming pattern on that main verse, the E, the B, the F sharp minor and the F sharp minor B and E again. I'm just going to go through it with you. I'm going to shout, I'm going to kind of call out what the strumming pattern is and hopefully um, you'll be able to follow along with me and then just work it out yourself and just have a real good crack at it. So it goes like this. yourself if you're struggling a little bit with the strumming pattern just try and do something that sounds a little bit similar the whole point is when you get around to that F sharp minor you want to emphasize that you're starting again so because you're using the same chords at the end and then the same chords at the beginning again, you start with an E, and we end with an E, and so on and so forth. You want to try and empathize that with your strumming pattern. So I hope that helps a little bit. And then you can pretty much just copy that strumming pattern throughout the rest of the song. Ooh, goodbye. <laughs> give that a good old crack. I hope that really helps. Thanks so much again. And uh, oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the rest of that kind of stuff. Cool. OK, so what do you think of that? Thank you so much for literally getting this far with it. It's quite a tough song, as you just saw. Yeah, the bar chords are pretty tough. But you know, I just showed you some really amazing little tips and tricks anyway for you to get through those bar chords. And the more and more you practice them, the better you're going to be. So if you want to get involved and vote for another song, not all, not always Beatles, it can be, it might be a lick, it might be a riff, it might be a song, then please do get involved. Submit your details in the next page by clicking on the link and on the next page, submit your details and just um, I'll send you an email saying thank you. I'll also send you some free eBooks and I'll send you, um, you can enroll to one of my um, exclusive guitar courses, not here on YouTube, which is free as well. So I've got a ton of cool stuff that I don't do on YouTube to my community and to my fans. And I like to get you involved and I like to talk to you a little more about what you want to learn. And then you in return telling me that I then record you a cool song. So I hope that was a really good song. Please go through this again because uh, it is quite a tough song with all these bar chords, right? Now, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel so you know when the next video is going to be released here on Learn Guitar Tunes. And don't forget to like this video, thumbs up, and share it to all your friends as well. So, thank you again so much for tuning in. Uh, really, really look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I've got a cool little trailer coming up right now. Check this out. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can catch all future new release lessons. Now, still getting frustrated or stuck and trying to figure out all this guitar stuff? Well, I've got you covered. Click the link below and you'll get not one but two guitar guides covering everything you need to know about the guitar, music theory, the nine most important open chords, my four step formula to getting to know the guitar better, pentatonic scales, licks, riffs, blues music, 12 bar blues and much, much more inside my exclusive two guitar guides the ultimate guitar guide and guitar the next level click the link below and on the other page submit your name and your email and you get instant access to my two free guitar guides cheers now